Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> I'm back. Bloop. I have not streamed on Twitch in over two years, and I wanted to come back with a bang. I wanted to create a project that would allow me to come back and be like worth watching, you know, to stake my claim in the online space again. And so without further ado, I present to you, I'm going to open the curtain now. I present to you a game of games. This Hello. is essentially, as I was advertising, a game show where the game is going to be different every single show. Today, for the inaugural episode of A Game of Games, we are playing Jeopardy. I was sort of trying to figure out what to do with this first game, and I thought, you know, what better game to start with than a game that is sort of like such a, a cultural staple at this point for many, many decades. It's a game that I grew up watching a lot as a kid. It's a game that a lot of my friends grew up watching a lot as kids, and that game is Jeopardy. I am joined today by my three lovely, wonderful contestants, Big Gar Fan 37. Hello. Pi is good. What's up? And Bendy Wire. Hello, hello. We will get to meet, uh, we'll get to learn more about these contestants a little bit later in the game, partway through Single Jeopardy. Before we start, for the viewers at home who might not know how Jeopardy works, let me sort of give the general rundown about how this game works. Jeopardy is a quiz game where I sort of ask the answers and you sort of answer with a question. So the contestants might answer with like, what is the color red? Or who is Ben Affleck? There are two main rounds of grid-based questions where the contestants will pick from a grid. There's single Jeopardy and there's double Jeopardy where the points are doubled. And then at the end, they bet however much money they want to bet from however much they've earned into one final Jeopardy solo question. Contestants, are we ready to play Jeopardy? I'm ready. I'm ready. Woo. First off, we're going to go into single Jeopardy. Here are your six categories. I want to play video games. Anthropomorphic animals. I like that slippery one. when wet. Famous catchphrases for this category. Given the catchphrase, you're going to tell me the corresponding character who says it. Three letter words. And animals in sports. Garf, because you are on the left, I'm going to give you command of the board first so you can pick uh, the question. Give me anthropomorphic animals for 1,000. Coming right up, anthropomorphic animals for 1,000. From a comic published in 1985, this talkative tiger is best friends to an imaginative, if not troublemaking, boy named Calvin. Uh, Garfield with the first buzzer. Garf, what is your answer? Who is Hobbes? That is correct. Hobbes is the correct answer there. I'm going to... Garfield adjacent guy. Give you... What was that, a thousand? I think that was like two thousand. You're, you're so right, I think. <laughs> that was definitely... A million dollar question. I think my gusto at least gives me five extra points, like a little thousand and five action. I mean, that would be super helpful if that was true, but it's not. So you're just going to have to deal with it. All right. You get command of the board again. Uh, Give me anthropomorphic animals <laughs> for 800. For 800. Ruh row, Raggy. This puppy packs a punch and is almost as well known as his cousin, Scooby Doo. Garfield again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> who is Scrappy Doo? That is the answer. Who is Scrappy Doo? That was another 800 points for you, taking you up to 1800. Oh, God. I'm doing points by hand here. So, all right, Garf, <laughs> you have the uh, command of the board again. Give me anthropomorphic <laughs> animals for 600. <laughs> all right, here we go. Children love the dogs in this Australian television show, including Bingo, Bandit, and the rest of their family. Uh, Bendy Wire, you buzzed in first. What is Bluey? That is correct. That is 600 All points right. to you. Uh, and you are on the board. Bendy Wire, you have control of the board. 
I'm going to go animals and sports for a thousand. Animals and sports for a thousand. Answer here. Kobe Bryant was known by this iconic nickname, a name he shared with this highly venomous species of snake. Bendy Wire, the only one to buzz in. What is Mamba or Black Mamba? That is correct. Oh, that shouldn't say Kobe Bryant. Oh, Kobe Bryant. What <laughs> the is answer, Kobe Bryant? The answer <laughs> is... <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, the answer is Black Mamba. You are correct. I knew there was going to be some in there when I was making this presentation <laughs> that just slipped through the cracks. Uh, that is a th another thousand points to I mean, take He was up also to... known by Kobe Bryant. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> that wasn't his animal name, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Bendy Wire, you have control of the board. Let's go Animals and Sports 800. Animals and Sports 800. This Boston basketball legend was nicknamed the Hick from French Lick. Bendy Wire, the only one to buzz in again. I don't know. Uh, who is, who is Larry Bird? That is correct. Larry Bird is the correct answer, bringing up to, what, 2400, I think? That was the 800 point question. Hinky Brick says, why is DB saying pie is good weirdly? That's how you say it. I, I thought it was pronounced piss good when I first like <laughs> I first read, read it. it as piss god, which is definitely well, not that's right. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll no let Garf take over here. <laughs> <laughs> Bendy Wire, you have control of the board once again. All right, let's keep it rolling. Animals and sports 600. 600. In 2016, this team ended the longest title drought in the history of American sports when they won the World Series over the Cleveland Indians. Bendy Wire. Uh, who is the Chicago Cubs? That is correct. The Chicago Cubs are the correct answer, taking you up to 3,000 and an early lead here. Uh, I'll go back to the board. You have control once again. Uh, keep it going. Uh, Animals Sports 400. No way. No way. There's no, there's no shot he runs the category, right? This professional golfer has won 15 major championships and a record 82 PGA Tour events. Bendy Wire by a narrow, narrow margin. Who is Tiger Woods? That is correct. Tiger Woods is the correct answer. You are one question away from running the category, bringing you up to 3,400 points. I'll go back to the board again. It is your gotta choice. Go you got to try. 200. Okay. Yep. <laughs> 200 point question for animals in sports. This NFL team flew all the way to Super Bowl 57, falling just short to the champion Kansas City Chiefs. I, I knew you were going to answer this one. Benny Wire? <laughs> I'm biased. Uh, who is the Philadelphia Eagles? That is correct. The Philadelphia Eagles did just lose to the Kansas City Chiefs oh. last year in the Super Bowl. You have they won, won the category for animals and sports. All right. It doesn't net you any bonus points, but it just means you're a cool guy, I guess. Thank you, thank you. That's some gusto right there. I think you should get at least <laughs> yeah. like yeah, add a cool a million six, gusto five points. points. Five, yeah. five points. Good with that. I uh, five. you know I wish I could, but then if you lose by five points, you know, right? I'd be like, I'd be content. You'd be content. I'd be content. Nobody's I'm found right. the daily double yet, and the daily double is the wagering question. There's one in single jeopardy and two in double jeopardy, so. There's some extreme support for pie is good in the betting in the chat right now. There's betting. Is, well, they're oh, just geez. they're just banking. He's going to stop <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's going to destroy <laughs> uh, Bendy Wire. You have control of the board once again after running the category. Where are we going from here? Um, I want to try out slippery when wet for 200 slippery when wet for 200. The RMS Titanic took a massive L in this ocean after striking an iceberg in 1912. Bendy Wire. What is the Atlantic? The Atlantic Ocean is correct. Uh, you have right. control of the board again. Um, slippery Woman went 400. All right, here we go. This famous waterway was constructed in 1904, separating two continents. Garfield, your answer. What is the Panama Canal? That is correct. The Panama Canal did separate North and South America in 1904. I was just there. Uh, that brings you up to 2,200. And command of the board, after six correct answers from Bendy Wire, is yours once more. Can I get anthropomorphic animals for 400? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Anthropomorphic yeah. animals for 400 coming right up. This famously funny black duck has been a roommate, a baby, and a superhero in the 24th and a half century. Garf, it's yours. Who is Daffy Duck? That is correct. Command of the board is yours once more. Can I get anthropomorphic animals for 200? <laughs> <laughs> Coming right up, sir. This deep-voiced mascot, first created in 1986, advertises a wide range of cheesy goods, including one that is, quote, flaming hot. Garf, it's you. Oh, my God. Who is uh, Chester Cheetah? No way. He's correct. Bringing him up to 2,800. With that, what Command of the Board say? is yours, but we're going to take a small break to get to know our contestants. I'll start on the left. We'll go left to right. Big Gar fan, you are the first of two uh, streamers slash online media personalities in this show. Can you tell us a little bit about like who, who you are as a streamer, what you do, and also the work you've done in charity? I like Garfield. There he is, everybody. Big Gar fan thirty seven. I yeah. do. I do want to. I do want to force you to talk about your charity though, because it's kind of it's objectively a cool thing. You've done yeah, some streams. I mean, I'm more of like a Twitter person, right? Um, and I've been trying to do Twitch, but the whole charity oh. idea is I have a platform for no fucking reason. Like, why do I have this? Uh huh. Um. So I'm gonna use it to do cool things. Uh. So every few months, I try to do like a charity event. Our last one for Doctors Without Borders raised six thousand four hundred seventy-two dollars. I think I might be off on the exact number, but it was around six point five k, and it was a super fun thing. It was a whole weekend, lots of streamers, and there might be even more of those coming up. So I'm very excited to see what the future has in store for you. We're going to move over to Pi is Good in the middle. That's my fucking goat. <laughs> also <Sorry>. a <laughs> famous uh, media personality, but for a slightly different reason than Garfield over here on the left. Can you talk to me about your speed running endeavors and what you do with that? When I complete a game, my first instinct is to play that game again. And it turns out that there's a whole community of people who like to do that. And uh, so I just play the same game over and over and investigate things about that game over and over. And it's fun to do for some reason. I've done it since 2019. What are the what are the main games you speed run? Uh, I speed run uh, Super Mario World and Celeste. Celeste more more recently and more often. Benny Wire on the right. What was the best sandwich you ever had? Uh... <laughs> That's a good question. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to go with <laughs> a solid PB&J from my childhood. That's a that's a hot take, I feel like. I feel oh, like just like the best single sandwich, so I associate it with... Like Dylan G4444, who is actually one of the writers on this show, agrees with your answer. Let's go. Garf, you have control of the board. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'll take uh I want to play video games for 1000. For 1000. Oh. This is a picture question, so I'm going to read the clue out. This mm. iconic meme image is an edit from this game, more specifically from when the player has to evaluate a witness's statement. I'll give a few more seconds for anyone to ring in. I know the game, I just forgot the name of it. Is it Spot Bendy Wire? Not a hundred percent, but what is LA Noir? Yeah. You are Three correct. And command of the board is yours. Alright. Um keep going with Slippery When Wet 600. Slippery When Wet for 600. This pirate, formerly Edward Teach, terrorized the Caribbean until his death at the hands of the British Navy in 1718. Bendy Wire. Who is Blackbeard? Blackbeard is the correct answer, bringing you up to 5,400 points. Uh, command of the board is yours, Bendy Wire. Um, slippery one way, 800. 
Slippery when wet for 800. Far before Columbus, it was this group of Europeans that first reached the Americas and encountered the indigenous people there. Pi is good. Buzzing in. Who are the Vikings? The Vikings are the correct I answer. Go. <laughs> and Pi is on good is board. on the board. Was that 800? Chad is going insane right now for that correct answer. You are on the board and not far away, I might add. This game is still very close. Pi is good. Command of the board is yours. Uh, video games for 600? For 600? I want to play video games. Yes. Here we go. The original version of this game was called Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. Garfield. What is Rocket League? Rocket League is the correct answer, taking you up to 3,400 points. Command of the board is yours. I'm going to go video games for 800. Video games 800. Overpromising and underdelivering seems to be the name of the game for this company that made Overwatch 2. Garf again. What is Blizzard? Unfortunately, Blizzard Entertainment is the subject of this question and the correct answer. Bringing up to 4,200, not far behind Bendy Wire's 1,200 point lead right now. I don't know why they just released Overwatch 2 and basically made it the same game with less features, but... Hey, don't, don't diss Overwatch 2 in front of Garf, okay? It is a choice. I fucking hate that game. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Command of the Board is yours, Garf. We're gonna go Video Games 400. Video Games 400. Be careful not to take an arrow to the knee while playing this fantasy RPG. Garf again. What is Skyrim? What is the Elder Scrolls V? Skyrim is the correct answer. Taking up to 4,600, because that was a 400 point question. I have to say this out loud to myself to remind myself of all the gears turning in this godforsaken game. Ah, Command of the Board is yours once again. Uh, we're just going to finish off video games with a quick 200. 200 point question is coming right up. Releasing on October 20th of this year, this is the latest 2D platformer in a certain Italian plumber's lineup. Garf again. What is Super Mario Wonder? That is correct. The wonder was the important part that I wanted you to get in there, and that'll take you up to 4,800 points. Uh, Command of the Board is still yours. Got about 11 questions left. Let's go with the uh, three-letter words for 1,000. For 1,000, an attack or robbery of someone, or an informal word to describe a person's face. Bendy Wire. What is mug? Mug is the correct answer. A clean thousand to you. I think you forgot to give me a thousand points. I did not. You should shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Bendy Wire, command of the board. Finish off Slippery When Wet. Slippery when wet for a thousand points. After both of his invading navies were obliterated by freak storms in 1274 and 1281, this ruler finally gave up his dream of conquering Japan for the Mongols. Bendy wire narrowly. Who is Genghis Khan? That is incorrect. Ah, oh. <laughs> um, one of the cons. Uh, Pi is good. I just not answer. I mean, I guess like you don't have to answer if you do. If you do answer and you get it wrong, I would take it away. But if you choose not to answer. All right. Five, four. I guess three, again. No, you're not allowed. Five, no. <laughs> four, <laughs> three. I like the gusto, two, though. Five right. point Informally one. guess. Uh, you can now that the question is over. Is it Kublai Khan? Yeah, it was. Oh, my God. Command of the board is still yours. Everyone's true. saying that Pi is good is missing points. I don't, I like, I, I, I know he isn't, but guys, <laughs> I appreciate the support. He did I, answer I, one I, question. I can't <laughs> artificially <laughs> give his god points. All right, um, right, let's try famous catchphrases 600. 600? Exterminate. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. 
Question is over. The answer we were looking for was the Daleks for that one. Oh. Command of the board is still what? yours. All right. Is that? Doctor Who stuff. It's a, it's a Doctor uh, Who reference. Oh. They're like the metallic dome shaped creatures that sort of are like his arch nemeses and go around and go like, exterminate! Stuff like that. Let's try catchphrases 800. 800? I carumba. Five, four, three, two, one. Bendy Wire with the last minute buzz. Who is Bart Simpson? That is correct. Oh my what? gosh. All right. He says, <laughs> I thought he, he does said say it. He says that quite often. I, I thought he like eats his shorts. Yeah, that's yeah, a good well, one he, he says I caramba a lot. <laughs> Command of the board is yours. That was 800. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's go. Three letter words, 600. Three letter words for 600. To pull something hard or suddenly. It's also short for a type of boat. Garf. What is tug? Tug is the correct answer we were looking for. Command of the board is yours. We're going to go three letter words, 800. Answer here is the daily double question. Ooh. So what this means is you are allowed to wager anywhere from five dollars up to the total amount of points you have diving back <laughs> i'm betting it all <laughs> oh my gosh only garf can answer this question and if he wins he'll be up to ten thousand eight hundred if he loses he'll be back down to a fat goose egg on the scoreboard question here is this verb means to fit a boat with sails it can also mean to tamper with something to create an advantageous output. Five, four, three, um, two, one. Rake. What is rake? You saved it at the last second. You said rig at first, and I was going to have to not give it to you because you didn't say what is, but you saved it at the very last millisecond. Rig is the answer we are looking for here. That brings you up to 10,800 points on the board. Keep in mind, there are two more daily double questions in double jeopardy. So there are plenty of opportunities for people to bet big. Uh, command of the board is yours. Let's do famous catchphrases a thousand. Just get it famous out of the catchphrases way. Famous catchphrases for a thousand. Did I do that? Garf? Who is Urkel? Steve Urkel is the correct answer, bringing you up to 11,800. Garf? I'm going to go famous catchphrases 400. For 400? Wubba lubba dub dub. Garf narrowly. Who is Rick Sanchez? That is correct. Rick Sanchez is who we are looking for, bringing you up to 12,200. And you still have control. Uh, famous catchphrases, 200. 200. Bazinga. Pie is good. Who is Sheldon Cooper? That is correct. Bringing you up to a cool thousand. I knew those and Facebook clips to help. <laughs> command of the board is yours. All right, let's go three letter words for 400. For 400. When you add numbers together, you get one of these. Garf? What is sum? Sum is the correct answer. Last question is, pitchforks and torches are the classic stereotype of an angry one of these. Bendy wire. What is mob? Mob is the correct answer. That is taking up to 6,400, and we have completed single jeopardy. So before we go to Double Jeopardy, currently in last place, Pi is Good with 1,000. In second place, Bendy Wire with 6,400. And in first place, Big Gar Fan 37 with 12,600. It is not too late of a game for any of these three players to either win or lose the lead. And we're going to go to Double Jeopardy. It's time for Double Jeopardy. Here are your categories. The four elements for this category, each correct response will contain the words earth, air, fire, and or water. 
the 118 elements, they elected what? Each correct response in this category will contain the last name of a president. Bears. Let's go. Sorry. Are you kidding? Famous Johns. And where? In this category, given the famous landmarks, you're going to name the corresponding city where they are from. I guess Mob Last is it. Okay, it's you. It's it's you then. Uh, I'm going to go 118 elements, 2,000. 118 elements for 2,000. Element 118, otherwise known as this, is the newest element on the periodic table. Bendy Wire. I hope I pronounced this right. What is Oganesson? That's close. We're going to take it. That was an impressive guess, and it paid off, bringing you up to 8,400 points. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the most difficult questions in the entire show, but I knew somebody would get it. And that somebody was you. <laughs> it wasn't rigged. Moment. It wasn't rigged. I promise. It was <laughs> not rigged. <laughs> All right. Control the ball. Uh, we'll keep going up. 1,600. 1,600. By volume, the dry air in Earth's atmosphere is about 78.08% nitrogen, 20.95% oxygen, and 0.93% this element. I'm going to close it in five, four, three, two. One question is closed. Your boy 1776 actually got it in the chat. The correct answer we were looking for was Argon. Wow. Okay. And so command of the board is still I'm breathing that yours. Shit. You are breathing Argon, whether you like it or not. Spoiler alert, it, it doesn't like you either. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> no, there is literally a poster in my room that shows... That has the that? percent composition of air, and I just didn't look at it. <laughs> it's right next to my head. Well, you're All an right. honest player. What can I say? Yeah. All right. Um. Let's keep going. Uh, 1200. 1200. The elements written by this musician and mathematician is a tune known for reciting all of the elements. There may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. Question closing in five, four, three. Two, one, closed. Your boy, 1776, the command of the board is not yours. The answer we were looking for <laughs> was Tom Lehrer. I have no idea who that is. Oh, I was about to say that. that. If there was like one more second, Oh, that's the guy's name? In. Okay. He was like the Harvard yeah. dude. I knew the song. Unfortunately, I wasn't sure if it was Tom or Jerry. That's, no, that's fair. Jerry Seinfeld wrote The Elements. All right, um, uh, command of the board is still yours, Ben. I mean, this is a hard category, but I'll keep trying it. 800. 800. The popular television series Breaking Bad uses the periodic table symbols for these two elements in its logo. Garfield by a what? narrow margin. Damn. What is brontium and barium? That is incorrect. Pi is good. I'm passing it to you. What is bromium and barium? I cannot give that to you. What is bromine and barium? Uh, yes, Bendy Wire, you got that. If I can make okay. a case for myself, I did get one of the elements right, so that is a <laughs> question. I'm really sad I couldn't give it to Pi is good for saying bromium, but the element is in question, bromine. Uh, yeah, Bendy Wire, all yours. That's fair. Uh, finish off the category. All right, for 400. Most glass thermometers use this element, which expands when heated, in order to measure temperature. Bendy wire. What is mercury? Mercury is the correct answer, giving you another 400 points, bringing you up to 9,600. And right. you still have command of the board. We're done with the science category. Let's do famous Johns for 1,200. Famous Johns for 1,200. This famous musician wants you to imagine what it would be like if the world lived in peace. Bendy Wire, narrowly. Who is John Lennon? John Lennon is the correct answer. What will be your next pick? Let's go Bears 1600. Bears for 1600. This stuffed animal serves as the antagonist to Andy's recently donated toys in Toy Story 3. Bendy Wire, the only one to buzz in. Who is Lotso? Yes, Lotso Hug and Bear or Lotso is the correct answer there. 
Uh, control of the board is still yours. You have now pulled ahead of Big Garfan. Uh, they elected what for twelve hundred? They elected what for twelve hundred? This popular toy lets children use small wooden pieces to build different structures. Garf narrowly. What are Lincoln Logs? Yes, Lincoln Logs with Abraham Lincoln in the name is what we were looking for. That was a $1,200 question bringing you up to 13000 It's a race between Big Garfan and Bendy Wire. Still two daily doubles left on the board. Uh, where are we going? I'm going to go with uh, Bears 2000. Bears for 2000 Wanting to rule the kingdom over his three brothers, this Pixar character transformed into a black bear from a witch's spell. Five, four, three, two, one. Question is closed. The answer we were looking for was Mordu from the movie Brave. Command of the board is still yours. 1,200 bears. 1,200 bears. Another daily double. Oh my god, are you serious? So, I mean... It's like Diamondback. <laughs> no, no way. I'm no it way. All. Oh my god. For thir are you sure? I just want to be I just want to be clear. You sure? Mm, let me think about it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For thir or for 26,000, here is your clue. Jeez. This children's literature character first appeared on October 1st, 1958, and since then has embarked on countless adventures including joining Queen Elizabeth II for tea and marmalade sandwiches. Who is Paddington Bear? Paddington Bear is the correct oh my Lord. answer. Up to 26,000 points for Big Garfan 37. There is still one daily double left in the board and a bunch of money left. So the game is far from over. Control of the board is yours. <laughs> Let's keep going with bears. For which one? Oh, 800 bears. 800. This British adventurer and television presenter became famous for his television series Man vs. Wild and extracting water from elephant poop. Bendy Wire. Who is Bear Grylls? Bear Grylls is the correct answer. And control the board is yours. Let's go four elements, 1600. The four elements for 1600... This cult classic RPG, released for the Super Nintendo, sees players control a party of characters led by Super Smash Bros. series veteran, Ness. Garf the only one to buzz in. What is Earthbound? Earthbound is the correct answer. Alright, control the board is yours. I want to finish off bears. Bears for <laughs> 400, here is your clue. Kerry Russell and Ray Liotta star in this 2023 comedy horror film about a bear who goes on a rampage after eating nearly 75 pounds of a certain smuggled good. Pie is good. What is cocaine bear? Cocaine bear is the correct answer. Another 400 points for Johnny, bringing you up to 600 points and control of the board is yours. Um, let's go. They elected what? for 800. They elected what for 800? These small plants with many leafy branches can be found everywhere in nature, and they used to be found in the White House too. Five, four, three, two, one. Question is closed. The answer was a lot simpler than what you were probably thinking about. We were just looking for Bush. Command of the board is still yours. All right, let's go um, Famous Johns for 800. Famous Johns for 800. This man, a trained assassin, needs your help. At least as long as you don't hurt his dog. Bendy Wire. Who is John Wick? That's right. John Wick needs your help. Uh, control the board is yours. We'll try Famous Johns for 1600. For 1600. With a career spanning seven decades, this composer wrote the scores to such films as Jaws, Star Wars, and Jurassic Park. Bendy Wire. Who is John Williams? John Williams is the correct answer, and that's who we were looking for, bringing you up to 15,600 points. Where are we going next? 
We'll go where for sixteen hundred. Where for sixteen hundred? Western Wall, Dome of the Rock, Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Question closing in five, four, three, two, one. Bendy Wire with the last minute buzz. Um, what is Jerusalem? That is correct. Jerusalem is what we were looking for there. Command of the board is yours. Um, let's go where for 800. 800 point question. Brandenburg Gate, Checkpoint Charlie, Reichstag. Bendy Wire. What is Berlin? Berlin is the correct answer. Another 800 points for you, bringing you up to 18,000. And clear the buzzers. This is very difficult from time to time. Where are we going, Ben? Four elements, 1,200. Four elements for 1,200. This six-time NBA champion was referred to by this iconic nickname, which was also the name of his popular shoe brand. Garf? Who is Air Jordan? Yeah, we'll take that. That is well, take that. It's, it's the exact right answer. For, for a, no, no. For a second, I thought. For a second, I thought we were talking about the shoe brand, but it says this iconic nickname. So it is. Who, okay. You literally can't get more correct than Garf saying who is Air Jordan, and I was like, we'll accept it. <laughs> we'll take it. We're feeling generous. <laughs> um. All right. Where where are we going? Uh, let's do four elements. Two thousand. Four elements for two thousand. This American R&B band is best known for their hit single about the 21st night of September. Do you remember? Nope. Pie is good. What is Earth, Wind, and Fire? Correct. For 2,000 points, Earth, Wind, and Fire is the right answer, bringing you up to $2,600. And you have control. Where are we going? Let's do four elements for 800. 800 point clue. When the sun is blazing and the summer gets hot, New Englanders go here when they want to cool off. Five, four, three, two, one. Question closed. The answer we were looking for is what is water country? What? Water country, country, water country. Take your kids. They'll get lost. That's not the actual song, but wouldn't it be nice if it was? All right. Pie is good. I think it's still you. Four elements for 400. 400 point clue invented in china this explosive device has become a staple on independence day pie is good again what is fireworks My fireworks is the correct answer where are we going next uh let's do uh where for 1200 where graceland the national civil rights museum the bass pro shops pyramid bendy wire what is memphis Memphis is the correct yes. answer. Right. A clean 2000 again and bringing you up to an even cleaner 20k. All right. Didn't Piscod say 1200? Yeah, I heard 1200 as well. Uh, I think no, you might have clicked, clicked on the, the wrong 2, question. I clicked on the wrong. Okay, we'll do the 1200 so that it's evened out now. <laughs> All right, 1200. Eiffel Tower, Hoover Dam, Caesar's Palace. Pie is good. What is Paris? Incorrect. Oh, okay. Any other guessers? Bendy Wire? What is Las Vegas? Vegas is the correct answer. Eiffel Tower was deliberately tricky. tricky because there wow. is an Eiffel Tower in Vegas, but the other two are heavily associated with Vegas. Um, right. That is 1,200 points, so that'll bring you up to 21,200. Very tricky. A deliberate, uh, deliberate trickster twister question thrown in here. Where are we going... Bendy Wire. Let's go. They elected what? 1600. For 1600. In card games, this term is used to refer to a card that belongs to the suit with the highest value. Pi is good. What is ace? Incorrect. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Were, either, was, were, was, were either of you going to guess that? I was, I was not going to get that. Okay. No. That was so that was, uh, I think that was 1200. Oh, God. It's all falling apart here. Unfortunately, Pi is Good goes down to 600 points. Hey, that's the first time I've accidentally revealed the answer. <laughs> Wait, that, that was 1,200, right? Oh, no, it wasn't. I took more points no, that, away. That was 16. Oh, man. 
Yeah, that's rough for me. I'm so sorry. Down it's to not 200. my first time. All right. Uh, where are we going next? Famous Johns for 2000. Famous Johns for 2000. Here's the clue. This placeholder name is given to dead bodies that haven't been identified. Pie is good. Who is John Doe? John Doe is the correct answer. Redeeming and back up to 2,200 points. Where are we going next? They elected what for 2,000? For 2,000. The other daily oh. double question. Oh. I'm banging it all. Can it be a daily oh, triple? Right. Daily triple? I can't You're do the, that. Fans this are is begging. your stream, Diamondback. Break free of the system. All right. For the fans. <sighs> this one time. Let's go. This one time. This go. is a daily triple. So if Pius oh gets it wrong, he goes down to zero. If he gets it right, he gets up to 6,600. All right. The fans are all clamoring for this. Let's go. No one seems to be in disagreement, which is oh the best God. part. All right. For 6,600, the daily triple. This American company is known for producing Mustangs and Broncos. What is Ford? Ford is the correct answer, yes. going up to 6,600 points. Let's go. Or pie is good. That was a 2,000 question. Yeah, you, you made it really easy. Here comes the reverse because. sweep. To be fair, it can be misleading if you think about it the wrong way. All right, three 400-point questions left on the board. All right, let's Where see Famous going? Johns for 400. Famous Johns. Nothing bad could ever happen to this United States president who was born in Massachusetts but died in Texas. Bendy Wire. Who is John F. Kennedy? John F. Kennedy is who we Legend. are going for. <laughs> Rest in power. 21,600 for you, an extra 400. <laughs> we have two questions left. You get to pick one, and then I'm just barreling through and doing the last one. So Chat says allegedly died in Texas. Ale <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. Where are we going, Ben? Let's go uh where where for 400 fanuel hall fenway park bunker hill garf uh what is boston boston mass taking up to 29,200 points and the last clue they elected what for 400 this fictional feline is best known oh. for his love of lasagna and distaste for mondays Ben, okay, I have to say this. Gar Garf buzzed in last. Bendy Wire buzzed in first. Wow. Who is Garfield? Garfield is the correct answer. Nets you an extra 400 points, bringing you up to a I clean 22,000. Clean, oops, I put an extra two there. After the double Jeopardy round, the scores are as follows. In third place, Pi is good with 6,600 points. In second place, Bendy Wire with 22,000 creeping up on the current first place person. Big Gar Fan 37 with 29,200. The gap was wider earlier in the game between Big Garf and Bendy Wire, but the gap's closing. With one question left, it's truly anybody's game. So the way this is going to work is we're going to go to Final Jeopardy. I will reveal the category, and then you will each independently message me on Discord how much you are going to wager. The category is film actors. Players, Gosh. please DM me how much you are willing to wager, anywhere from zero to your current point total. All right, I have the wagers. Players, I'm gonna be singing a, uh, you know, roughly 30 second rendition of the Final Jeopardy music for, uh, you know, copyright reasons. So it's going to be a slightly jazzier version. It's going to be roughly 30 seconds long. When it gets to the end, you have to lock in your answers. The way you're going to answer is by DMing me your answer as well. Players, here is your clue. Having played over 600 television and film roles since the 1950s, he, in the photo on the left, is known as one of the greatest character actors of all time. Time starts now. Do 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 da 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 da
And one more time. I can't land on the same note because that might be <laughs> tough. All right. Final answers are all in. We're going to go from lowest to highest, starting with the lowest. Pi is good. You Out of 6,600 points, you bet 6,599. And your answer was, who is Henry James? Oh, yeah. That is incorrect, dropping uh. you down to one point. Next, we go over to Bendy Wire. Your answer, and you bet 21,999. You answered James Hong. That is correct. What is that? 43,999, I think. Over to the person who was in first place for most of this game. Big Garf, you wagered zero dollars and you answered who is garfield in true fashion that is incorrect it didn't matter either way you stay at twenty nine thousand two (laughs) hundred the correct answer of course uh was what bendy wire put down which is who is james hong which means bendy wire you are the winner of jeopardy and the first inaugural game of a game of games Congratulations. Let's go. And players, thanks for playing. You, there's no prize. You just, you kind of get bragging rights. So golf rules? So that is the end of our game show, A Game of Games. Congratulations to once again, the three contestants for playing. I also want to thank our three lovely writers who helped me co-write this episode of A Game of Games. Uh, Mothra Halloween, Dylan Grady, and The Muffin Man. Without them, I would not have been able to put this together at all. This was a lot of writing. That is pretty much it. This is Diamondback from the future recording a proper outro because he didn't do it live. Thank you for coming and good night. 